Hey guys, how's it going? Anthony Mutraj here, back with a new video lesson for y'all. Yes, that was Rational Gaze from Meshuga. I absolutely love that song. It's one of my favorite songs ever. Not just from them, but just overall. The whole song has got like five notes, I believe. But the way they mix and match rhythmically and the games they play is just amazing, right? So I was actually sitting and thinking about some ideas which I can share with you all, which will not necessarily mean that you would be playing Meshuga overnight or that kind of music, but rather develop a good sense of pulse, time, feel and rhythm. Okay, so there is a PDF accompanying this lesson. Okay, so the link is right down below. And before I get to the actual lesson, do subscribe to the channel and do consider um, joining the channel as well as a paid member. There are additional perks there, including extended lessons and whatnot. All right, so moving on. So I've taken a bunch of basic rhythms, um, which I've used to create phrases. Okay, so you will see one bar phrases, two bar phrases, and then four bar phrases. And then the rational gaze intro is also transcribed. So rational gaze is actually an eight bar phrase, right? The whole cycle of that groove takes eight bars before it resolves back on the one. So the intro is two sets of eight bars, so 16 bars long in total. Um, but there's a very distinct feature that actually separates the eight bars. The first eight bars, the whole intro is basically built off of a high G flat and a low F, like a root and flat nine. So what happens in the second eight bars is that the emphasis of the low F is hit on the drums typically on a china or a quick crash symbol, you hear Thomas Huck do that. And he, it's very characteristic of Meshuga to do that, where they would take the same cycle, repeat it, but then the drums would just change things up a little bit, which just gives it a different flavor and just makes it sound even more awesome, right? So I'm not going to go into the exact details of that intro because that would take a long time to get through because there's so much more to it than just eight bar phrases. but. That eight bar phrase is a good reference to have, all right? So that notation is there, and if you're attempting to read it, all the very best, because writing it definitely wasn't easy, as much as it's in my head and I've memorized it. Okay, so the idea is to take these rhythmic figures, which are in the space of a quarter note, right? So we've got a 16th into a dotted eighth, 16th, eighth, 16th. You can see it on the PDF, so I'm not going to pick on every... Um, rhythmic figure that we're going to look at but if you look at example one um, that's a very simple way of using these rhythmic figures to combine and create the phrase so this is example one one two three four one two three four okay and the second exercise there in a one bar phrase situation. Okay, so the cool thing about these single bar phrases is that you can repeat them. And you can make it very musical, even though it's just one bar long. And same thing with the other one. And then, of course, you can displace the notes accordingly. I've only written it with one single note, but feel free to experiment with different kinds of notes and combinations. Exercise two uses two bar phrases. So now we are thinking beyond just one bar. So what starts to happen here is that your resolution is obviously extended. Your groove is also um, more open as opposed to it being very boxed in within a bar right so two bar phrase so this is the example there the first one I was almost worried I won't be able to count and play so those are some simple exercises you can try, okay? There is one bar, two bar, and four bar phrases, and rational gazes transcribed as well. So 
definitely take these rhythmic figures, mix and match however you like, put a tie into the second bar, like what I've done here with one of the examples, and just really experiment with what you can do with these combinations and how you can create very interesting grooves and bass lines out of this. All right, so all these examples are using single note references since I worked this off of Mashuga, but feel free to add more notes and get funky with it. Believe it or not, being influenced by Mashuga has made me a stronger funk player, but it's also given me a very strong sense of time when I play any form of music in fusion or um, straight ahead when things are being modulated, polyrhythms flying here and there. I usually find myself to be rather centered and grounded because when you listen to Rational Gaze, that intro, if you don't pay attention, you kind of enter this trance almost. But what happens there is that the snare on B3, one, two, three, four, one, two, pack. So that snare is always there without fail. But then the rhythms that surround it are just epic. All right, so I hope you get something out of this. And um, if you dig this, um, these type of lessons do let me know because this was really fun to put together all right so i'll see you guys in the channel on the next one peace